Ever since I was a kid, all I wanted to be was an explorer. Sail the seven seas, find new worlds. But Uncle D, everything's already been found. What? Like everything? Well, yeah. Oh, man. Well, so much for that. But if I can't be an explorer, I can still be an adventurer. So I bought a motorhome, and I'm hitting the open road. My name is Dustin Porter, and this is Destination Adventure. Look at how perfect this bike is for holding crab crabbing gear. Got the pots there, bucket. I'm trying to think of a name, like Krabasaki. It's like Kawasaki. I'm not sold yet. Give it 20 minutes, I'll be limited out. never claimed to be a jellyfish expert. I think I know what's going on over here. This one stuck on the wire. I think that's mama jelly. Over there, that's papa jelly. And he's here on a rescue mission. Sorry about that jelly underbelly shot. I was just filming and she flipped over. You may have noticed that I'm not showing any crabbing videos. It's definitely not because I'm not catching any crabs. I totally am. But uh, here's some seals. <laughs> Just packing up. I think someone's been letting the crabs out of my trap. catch any crabs last night it's no biggie today we are checking out a spot that the locals call Drax Castle they believe that Count Dracula used to live there here we go wow history mystery two words to describe Drax Castle is this in fact the home of THE Count Dracula? No, probably not, that's not a real thing. But what I can tell you, this right here is the site of the number eight mine. Where I'm standing right now, underneath several feet of concrete, is the number eight mine shaft. Right below me goes down vertically 969 feet. These steel supports that you see here, these four, that's all that remains of the old elevator used to bring the miners down to the coal seam and of course bring the product back up. Not a whole lot to see here. I think we've pretty much seen it all, but there are some trails going off into the woods. I'm just gonna do some walking, see if there's anything else. Regardless of its original purpose, when a site like this inherits a name like Drax Castle, it draws in I guess you could say more of a darker audience. And a lot of these places when I explore, I find re remnants 
of like satanic rituals and stuff. And uh, walking through the woods here, there's crazy carpets <laughs> nailed up in the trees. I don't know what that's all about, but I'm gonna follow them. I haven't found any more buildings, but I did find a large piece of coal. That's pretty cool. Ran into a local while I was there. She says there's a ghost town very close by called Bevan. Let's see if we can find it. Well, apparently this is it. I have a feeling we're not going to find much here. I think we'll drive a little bit further, see if we can see anything from the road. Found nothing. I don't know what I'm going to do all day now. It's not even one o'clock. <laughs> There's nothing else I really wanted to see in Comox, so I decided to continue north, and the highway kind of runs along the beach. Beautiful spot here, so I decided to stop and do a little beach walking. Oh! Complete sand dollar. Oh my god, I've never found a non broken sand dollar. Crabs. Gotta be honest, you guys, I'm feeling a little bit embarrassed with my reaction to the sand dollar. It was my first complete sand dollar but this beach is apparently covered in I have been clamming a time or two, maybe three, definitely no more than four. There's a little sand section here. Let's see if maybe I can get myself some clams for dinner. This is either like really easy and I didn't know, or I'm secretly like super good at it. Pretty excited to be having seafood again tonight. I'm gonna say goodbye here so I can go do some cooking. Thanks for watching, everybody.